All right, Shalom, Most High Christ blessed. My name is Officer Yeshua with the Camp of Israel United in Christ. And we are here to let you so-called blacks, you Hispanics, and you Native American Indians know who you are according to the Bible. Right. All right? Why are we out here for? We are here because we have lost our heritage. We have lost our customs, our traditions that was given by the Most High God. All right? Read that. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. So what the Bible say? The Bible says God has made us a watchman, a watcher for the people, for the house of Israel. Who, who is the house of Israel? You so-called blacks, you Hispanics, because that is who we really are, according to God. All right? According to the heathen, according to our conquerors, what do they call us? I'm going to ask you right here, Brother Kwan, what do they call us? African-American, but is, is that the name that was given to us by God? Or was that the name given us to us by our uh, uh, slave masters? By the slave masters. And guess what? We still here in their land, right? And we wonder why our people are on the bottom of this society. We are still in the, in the land of our captors. We are still slaves over here in America. Right. Our people, we wander up and down wondering why black people got to be on the bottom of society. But guess what? God has an answer for you. That's why we out here for you to show you according to God's word while we're in these conditions. Read it again. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the words at my mouth. So what did God say? God said, hear the words at his mouth. What's that talking about? This Bible. Read on. And give them warning. Give them what? Warning from me. Give them warning. 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 Warning from God. Why must we give warning to the people, to the Israelites, you so-called blacks and Hispanics, from God? Give me a... Uh, matter of fact, finish that off. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. And thou givest him not warning, nor speaketh to warn the wicked from his wicked ways to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. So the scriptures say we are out here to save our people, to help redeem them from what? From their sins. Because our people are all gummed up out here sinning. Right? We're all trapped up in the sin. That's why we're in these conditions today. Y'all understand that? We are God's chosen people. We ain't in this scenario. It, it, all of this isn't just random. Right? We are here for a reason. This is our punishment. Slavery was a punishment. That's right. What are you doing, bro? What's your name? Travis. Travis? You ever heard this before? Someone. All right. What, what you know about it? You ever heard that the so-called blacks and Hispanics, we are God's chosen people? You ever heard that before? When you, when you see your people out here, right? When you see another black man, do, let, me, let me ask you a question. Do, do we see our people as, as royalty, yeah. as, as a whole? No. When you see another black man walking down the, the street, do you automatically think royalty? Right, you know, that's, that's the, I'm talking about us as a whole. That's the politically correct answer, but as a whole, we don't do that, right? But God says we are a chosen people. Give me that uh, Deuteronomy. Yeah. We're a chosen people, bro. You know what I'm saying? These are the nations, and especially us, we're supposed to be dealing with each other differently. When you see your brother, you're not supposed to just see a nigga. You're not supposed to see a, a, a thug, a gangbanger. This ain't, this ain't how we supposed to be as a nation. Right. When I see you, I see a king, right? But when my brother sees me, he don't see that, why? We don't understand these scriptures. Right. But watch this. Peep game what God says. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. What? For thou art in holy people. It says, for thou art in holy people. Who's that talking about? God. Right. God said that about who? Us. About us. Who's us, though? The king. Right. The kings of the earth, so-called blacks. Right. But we don't, we don't, when we read these scriptures, we don't really see ourselves in, you know, in these scriptures. In, in a good light, right? To us, you know, that's a whole nother other people every time we read that. But the whole time, this Bible was talking about us. That's right. Read it again. 
For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. He did what? Chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So look, bro. We all, everybody you see out here, you know, these, these so-called African-Americans. God, up in the sky, right? Up, up in the heavens. He chose us to be a special people. We are chosen. But what's going on? Why are we in these predicaments if we are chosen? Why are we here? It's because we sinned against God. We don't get to that, but we don't. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You hear what it said, bro? It said above all people. Right now, we're not that. Right now, we can't even represent that, right? We're not, we're on the bottom of society. But give me that in uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. We're going to get why we're on the bottom, right? You ever heard the term we're in the last days, bro? You ain't never heard that? We in the last days? All right, well, that's a term that's, you know, commonly well known uh, amongst the, the, the Israelite community, the, the so-called blacks and Hispanics, right? We hear things like that all the time. And what does that mean? That means God is coming back soon. You ever, do, do you know, uh, are you common at all with, with the history of the Bible, anything? Like Noah's Ark and things like that? You, you remember what happened in the, in the time of Noah, right? Noah, he built the ark, right? And then the flood came and wiped away damn near the, the, the whole population of the earth, right? And God only saved eight people, Noah and his family, right? The term we're living in the last days means that that's going to happen again. That's right. Right? But we got we to gotta make sure we're ready for that because God is coming back to redeem his people before that happens. But remember, we're, we're at the bottom of society right now. That's what we must be redeemed from because we were created to be above all nations like we just read, right? But we're gonna get why we're on the bottom of society, all right, read. The book of, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments, and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee that all these curses shall come upon our people that's why we in the ghettos bro that's when we these other these other races these other nations when they deal with us they they think of automatically us as thugs as gangsters we 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 in that so much that we view each other like that we got to come out of that garbage man we used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how we're men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.